So there is a there is an example, a story that I like to you know bring up, and one of the ones that scared me the most was doing a risk assessment on site for one of our customers, and the customer uses a third party um, provisioning team. So they're building their servers, they're provisioning them onto their network, but this third party provisioning um, partner of the customer is putting root back doors on all of their systems. So the, cus- the third party actually has the private key and is putting the public key on all of their servers. So they have the ability to connect as root. The customer has no idea who's connecting. The customer has no idea when the connections are happening because they're not monitoring them. But this third party root back door allows that third party to do whatever they want to the servers at any given time. The potential risk of that is the fact that that third party doesn't take any of the code of ethics from the cust- our customer, right? So they're not abiding by any of the customer's policies. So essentially what they're doing is putting a back door on all the systems, but they've never taken the security exams from customer, right? So they've never taken any of the things. So they're, they're going to be out of compliance from a perspective of if somebody gets terminated at that partner, what's to say they didn't take the key with them? What's to say the keys haven't already moved to a personal machine? What's to say, you know, so you don't know how big the risk could be. So the resolution for it is to rotate the keys first thing. So that public key is changed and that private key can no longer talk, right? That's the recommendation up front. But the real recommendation is they've got to fix the process of the third party because that's not a process that should be being utilized at this point. We pointed that out to them and they're now well aware of it and things are being budgeted for this year to be able to take care of things and point things out to their third parties that need to be pointed out and need to be remediated. The customer has inherited the risk of this backdoor that they were unaware of. The third party implemented this risk because they thought it would be easier for them to maintain the customer's servers by having this extra access. But ultimately, the customer has a policy in place where root access has to be monitored and it's not being monitored when the third party implements the backdoor.